Digital Radio. Voices you know and music you love. Tidno FM. You found Tidno FM. You certainly have 107.8. To visit us, uh, to see Christina with such a vision. Uh, it's such a challenging um, uh, thing, even in our community. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm I'm here really to uh, make sure that that vision and that ambition is carried uh, through and being supported. So uh, so far it has been wonderful because we've managed to secure the land yeah. uh, on which uh, the resource centre would be built. Um, so our challenge uh, and Christina's challenge now is to um, organize funds to um, build the maternity ward and all the other things that are needed uh, on the site. So her vision, I can see her vision uh, you know, becoming reality in five years' time and many people benefiting out of that vision. Um, after I came out last year with the group, that mm-hmm. for the first time, I came back and decided that I wanted to help in some way. And, and I, one of the things I really um, strongly on is that women to have good conditions for maternity when they're in child labour. Mm-hmm. And um, seeing the conditions out here when I'd gone to visit Shantytown, I realised I wanted to go and help that. So when I got back to school, I told Mr Hall, and we sent me back out in February... And me and John went round and found land, and um, so I came back, told everyone, and we tried to raise funds to get this land, and we just got it a few days ago, so very excited. I bet. You you must like it out there. You keep going back, don't you? <laughs> I love it. It's like another home. Great. Um, how do you, what do you say is um, the inspiration that's caused you to take these steps to build this family resource centre? Um everything really just to see how someone like John can go from where he was to how he is now and mm. how he carries on helping his people I just like I'd like to be able to try and help him with that and the inspiration of all the people here because the, how they have little but they'll always have a smile on their face and they're just so happy even though whereas back home some people who might have little wouldn't be so happy how, how do you see things developing in your future um well, I see myself coming out here a lot more and hopefully just um, working with this maternity unit and maybe maybe expanding it into other areas that need it as well. Excellent. What what would you say, um, what, what message would you give to other youngsters interested in helping in a, pro- a project like this? Don't give up, really, because some, everyone keeps saying that you'll never get the funds, but as long as you have faith and keep going... You'll get it. Juggling sort. Get there in the end. <laughs> okay, well, it's been lovely talking to you all. Now, we've got a tune lined up that um, you selected before you went out to Uganda. Do you want to introduce yep. it? Um, Leona Lewis, Footprints in the Sand. And why, why this tune? Because it reminds me of the story Footprints from the Sand and that when you think you're alone, you're never really alone. Great. Well, have a good trip. And we'll speak to you when you get home. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Christina. Good to speak to you. Bye. Bye.